la 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 Oh! Hello guys! Welcome to our channel! In this special episode, we will be having a tier list of which of the following topics in the CPC exam is the easiest to the most difficult ones. I am the medical coding guy. Your CPC exam is composed of 100 item questions to be answered within 4 hours. That's gonna be a multiple choice exam. And it has 17 eras of knowledge. And we'll be talking about today, alright, which of those 17 areas are the most difficult ones, alright, or the easy ones, okay? So we'll be creating this tier list, alright, so at least we get to know which one are the easy topics, which one are the harder topics, okay? So, let's start first with your anesthesia coding, all right? So, this is in no particular order. Uh, again, this is my personal opinion, all right, as an instructor, all right? And also, I've uh, gained some insight as well from my students, okay? So, anesthesia coding is quite easy, all right? I'm not saying it's too easy in the sense that uh, the code sets itself, all right, are really uh, very easy to understand but you have to uh, get to know all right the modifiers that you will use for anesthesia codes all right like your physical status modifiers all right and also don't forget to check your qualifying circumstances but let's put this one right in the middle of the pack all right so let's now proceed to your cardiovascular system so that's uh your 3000 series all right so it has two to three questions only so good news but you might get some questions from your cardio from your medicine section like ptca pci procedure a right or left heart catheterization knowledge of the cardiovascular system itself is very important all right but i'll place this one here on the top all right so the good news is it only has two to three questions, all right? Because for your 3000 series, so let's uh, jump to your respiratory section here. So it's uh, combined with your respiratory section, all right? Respiratory system questions, which also has two to three questions. So again, uh, that's good news because although cardiovascular system is difficult, all right? You have respiratory uh, system to back it up in the same uh, set of questions, all right? For your 3000 series. I'll be putting this respiratory system right in the easy portion, all right? So technically speaking, for each series of your uh, surgery section, you have six questions for each, all right? But I'll be providing here the number of questions per topic or per areas of knowledge, okay? So let's now proceed to the next one. So for case study, all right, I'll be putting this one here in the difficult section. Why? Because this case study questions, which is composed of 10 or items, so it's composed of lengthy questions. Maybe around 60 to 80% of them are lengthy. All right. So this is the usual uh, last 10 questions you will be answering because you don't want to waste your time. Right? You only allowed like two to three minutes per item. You don't want to dwell on this uh, questions too much uh, if you're if you haven't answered yet the easy questions of your exam. All right. So I'll be putting it under your difficult section. So again, finish first all the easy questions before jumping into your lengthy questions. But it's up to you. Some students want to take it 1 to 100 as an exact order, but some people want to go directly to the easy ones. So it's up to you on what type of technique all right, you've done with your practice questions. All right. So let's now proceed to coding guidelines. The guidelines for both ICD, CPT, and your HICPICS coding, all right? I'll be putting it here under your easy, all right? So uh, when it comes to coding guidelines, you have to make sure that you know the place. You have to make sure that you know the place in the book where you can find these guidelines. So for your ICD-10 uh, CM coding, just locate it in the front portion of your book, all right? So you have all the guidelines there. As for the CPT coding, sometimes you might see that particular guideline, all right? The, in the paragraph before your code set, all right? Say, for example, it's about a guideline of how to uh, properly code uh, a certain uh, add-on code, all right? So sometimes you just have to check that particular add-on code and check for the guidelines below or 
in the paragraph above that uh, particular code set. Okay. So next is your compliance and regulatory. So this is about uh, some acts like the HIPAA, all right, Stark Law, all right, Affordable Care Act. So those sort of things. So please take note that uh, there are some questions like um, on which year HIPAA was uh, established or enacted. So that's going to be 1996. So these are the questions that you cannot find in the book. So I'll be putting this one here. In the moderate side okay because uh, these are the things that uh, typically a student needs to at least review or memorize because these are your theoretical questions that most of the questions under these three questions for your compliance and regulatory are not included in the book that you will be using so the three books that you have all right so please be careful about uh, answering these three questions good news it only has three questions, all right? But if you're very good in memorizing, all right, this one will be under super easy, okay? Please take notes. Next will be your digestive system questions, all right? Although there are some lengthy questions in the digestive system, all right? All you need to do here is to uh, be uh, aware of the anatomy and medical terms, all right? Like the sequence from mouth till anus, all right? So you have to just at least know where's the colon located, what, what are the portions of your large intestine and small intestines. But I'll be putting this one here under the easy section, all right? Why? Because again, most of the questions that I'm uh, seeing under your digestive system are uh, straight to the point, all right? So it's in between the moderate and the easy side, but I'll be putting it here under the easy section. Right? But it can be the moderate, so... But for me, I'll be putting it uh, under the upper portion of the easy side, okay? So again, you'll get a lot of uh, scores for this uh, topic, okay? But again, it's up to you. It might be different from your experience. It might be different from my student's perspective and also my own perspective, okay? So, yeah. Let's now proceed to evaluation and management. This one, if you have a uh, good experience, right, in the evaluation and management portion, this one will be uh, rather easy, all right? So, again, uh, it depends. If you're taking the CPC exam, if you have this ENM uh, background, all right? It will be under the easy side, but again, let's make it in general. Let's say you don't have any experience or you're starting your CPC course from the scratch. I'll be putting it here under the difficult section. So ENM in real life is a very valuable asset to have, right? Because knowledge in this evaluation and management uh, is like the bread and butter for most of the uh, facilities, clinics, and hospitals, right? Wherein you will be working for, all right? So again, remember visits usually starts with your evaluation and management all right so again this is the time the doctor will be creating a treatment plan all right so it usually starts with your evaluation and management so just be aware about the leveling system so again it uh it's on the top of the list here way way back before but they changed the mdr they changed the enm guidelines okay so they made it like uh, uh checking only the level via the MDM and though and also your time okay but I'll still put it under the difficult section based on my uh, students right and uh, students experience when the whenever they take the CPC exam all right eyes and the ears mm, so I can put it under the super easy one all right but it can be an easy or moderate it depends on the questions you will be getting but the reason why I'll put it under the super easy is because um, most of the questions here are based on laterality, all right, and also based on the uh, anatomical uh, location of that particular part of the eye or the ear, all right. So the only thing that will make this one a little bit difficult are the questions that will be coming from your ophthalmology exam or the ophthalmology ENM. So just review that part in the medicine section. But this one rather super easy and it only has three questions so you might get two questions from the eye or one question from the ear or uh, vice versa okay so please take notes again laterality is important for the eyes and the ear section hick picks coding you have three questions here i'll be putting it as well under the super easy question all right so if you uh check my previous uh uh videos about uh, some of the practice exams whenever i give a hick picks coding 
uh, Hickpix level 2 coding question, it's relatively easy to answer. All you need to do is to compare, all right, the code in the book. The only problem here are the some of the guidelines like uh, your ambulance uh, modifiers, all right, in the A series of codes under the uh, Hickpix level 2 codes. And also, uh, please take note about the uh, some of the theoretical guidelines that can be asked from the coding guidelines, all right, which is uh, under the easy section here, all right. But overall, knowing your milligrams, CC and ML, all right, are the most uh, important parts, all right, for your Hickpix level 2 coding, okay. So let's now proceed to the next one, ICD 10 CM coding questions. So again, for this, you'll get mix of questions, all right, from the uh, ICD coding itself. So it can be any from the 22 chapters from A to Z codes. So the good thing here is it's condensed inside this five questions. So again, for your ICD 10 CM part, I'll put it under moderate because some of the topics here are relatively easy, all right, and direct to the point like your N codes, for example, all right. So again, most of the guidelines, they revolve around the CKD and ESRD. But there are some uh, guidelines here like your S codes, like your O codes, so OB gynecology and also this um, injury, all right, related stuff. So it's going to make it a little bit difficult. So just know your guidelines, just practice each of the chapter in the ICD-10CM and you can easily get these five questions correctly, all right? Next is the integumentary system. So integumentary system consists of six questions. So this is about the skin, skin procedures. So as I've said in, the, in my previous video that you just have to master these uh, topics like the repair of the skin, all right, the excision portion of the lesion, all right, is it a malignant or benign, and the adjacent tissue transfer, all right, and also your skin replacement procedures. So those are the things that um, you need to at least master, but I'll put it under moderate side, okay. It can be difficult if you don't know those guidelines because sometimes, uh, let's say a repair code, is it going to be coded or a simple repair? Is it going to be coded in conjunction with your excision of lesion? So those are the uh, some of the uh, difficult topics that you might get under the integumentary system. Okay, path and lab. So this one, uh, it's a little bit mix of moderate and easy. All right, but I'll put it under moderate side. But uh, if you will check some questions under the path and lab, if you uh, will purchase some of the practice tests from the AAPC website. So if you will get uh, codes that starts from uh, number 8, all right? So again, let's say the doctor has ordered a CBC or uh, a panel, all right? So there's a lot of guidelines inside the pathology and laboratory. There's a lot of code sets here, all right? And some of the code sets here, like the genetics, all right, or genomic sequencing, are uh, really uh, very hard to understand, especially if you don't know what's the, uh, what the doctor will be ordering is about, all right? Unlike the other procedures like excision, all right, debridement, incision and drainage, it's easy to understand. But for some of the uh, procedures in the pathology and laboratory in the 8000 series codes, all right, they're very hard to understand. So just uh, check what the doctor has ordered, all right, and code it depending on the scenario that's given to you, okay? And down to our last six topics here so you have medicine section it's a mix of almost anything in this particular code set all right so you have your cardiovascular system you have uh, some allergy testing procedures you have physical therapy occupational therapy here so again it's anything under the sun all right so under your 9000 series codes in the last portion of your code book uh, for your cpt book so again you will see a lot of topics here so the reason why I'll be putting it under moderate side because there's a lot of topics inside here that make it hard for the students to uh, to at least uh, get uh, let's say you mastered some of the portions here under the medicine like the EKG part or right. let's say the allergy testing side okay so but uh, what if you will get questions from another topic you haven't reviewed that perfectly, all right? So please be warned under your medicine section. It can be difficult, it can be moderate or easy, but I'll just put it here under the moderate side. Medterm. So this is a little bit of a question whether you have a medical background or not. 
if you have a medical background it will be under super easy all right but if not it can be moderate or difficult so for the sake uh, let's say it's up for ge the general audience i'll just put it here under the moderate side all right why if you if you have a medical background then it's easy for you to understand all right let's say what does uh, work where can we find acetabulum for example so that's a question that i got from my exam or from my first ctc exam way way back before imagine i uh, graduated nursing all right I passed my uh, registered nurse exam, but I don't know where's the acet acetabulum located, so I chose the answer brain. All right, but acetabulum is part of the upper femur, all right, or we can call it the hip socket. Okay, so it's part of the skeletal system. All right, so even though I have a medical background, I failed to answer that, and of course, with the with the pressure of the time, all right. I tend to just make it faster but there's a technique here if you cannot find all right or if you cannot uh, choose the answer right away based on the question given to you you can always go to your ICD 10 cm book or your CPT book there are some anatomical illustrations there that can help you find that specific part all right the question is asking okay it can be here it can be here I'll just put it under moderate 2000 series i'll put it under the difficult section all right so why it's very huge all right 2000 series a very huge part of your cpt manual all right if you will check the codes of course we're talking about the muscle and bones here so we're talking about parts from head to toe all right and also you will have some spinal procedures here that makes it more difficult all right so just try to practice questions all right just try to uh, understand the muscle and the bones in the body especially the skeletal system try to memorize the major bones in the body all right so those are the things that can make this 2000 series musculoskeletal system a little bit easier okay nervous system the reason why i'll just put it under the moderate side it's because of the endocrine system maybe one question will be asked endocrine system if you will check the codes it's there under the 6000 series right after your female reproductive system section all right you will see there uh, direct to the point all right or uh, only a few codes are there excision of the parathyroid excision of the thyroid gland etc i'll just put it here under the moderate because you have the nervous system here all right and brain procedures and also the spinal procedures are really difficult but the one that makes this more difficult are your spinal procedure like laminectomy vertebral corpectomy so those sort of things all right now radiology section i'll put it under the easy side it can be moderate as well depends on the type of questions you will get so the, uh, this radiology is for x-ray ct scan mri all right guidance procedure all right um, the difficult part here as well is the nuclear medicine all right so again just uh, try to review those but relatively your radiology section is uh, going to be easy if you will be preparing for it like um, you check the guidelines of how to uh, code properly your guidance all right like ultrasound guidance can I code this in conjunction with uh, the other surgical codes so you just have to check the, the guidelines do not report all right and check the paragraph information listed here it will be easy all right and last but not the least you have your urinary and reproductive system i'll put it under super easy so super easy why because urinary system is just composed of these four major parts kidney ureter bladder and urethra all right as for the reproductive system male reproductive system uh, you uh, you just have to know the function all right for each of the parts but when it comes to uh, the CPT side, it's direct to the point, all right? Like uh, procedures done for the epididymis, procedures done for the testis, etc. But for the female side, or for the female reproductive system, the hard uh, portion here is uh, going to be the, uh, what do you call this? Delivery codes, all right? Especially twin gestation delivery. So you have to check what codes you can all right code together and which one are you going to code for the second baby if in case it's going to be for twin delivery okay so good luck with your exam 
And again, if you will follow this list, it will be always like this. Maybe you can easily perfect your cardiovascular system because you got the easy questions or you reviewed all right, those specific uh, guidelines for your cardio. So this one will just serve as your guide all right, for at least uh, before you take your exam, all right, at least weigh in. All right, which one of the following topics or areas of knowledge you're having difficulties with. I'll be posting more contents like this, so please, if you follow my uh, YouTube channel, so again, The Medical Coding Guy, all right, please subscribe. It always helps my channel to grow and to give you more free contents like this, all right? That's it for this day. See you guys. Always remember, without knowledge, there is no power. Have a nice day, guys.